What's up tech fans? How about some real tech of tomorrow served up for your brain lunch here on Sunday? That's right. So by now, I would think that everybody out there has heard of Tesla. No, I'm not talking about the guy who invented electricity and then got boned by Edison. And no, I'm not talking about the rock band either. I'm talking about the company that manufactures vehicles, cars right now. But uh, Elon Musk is a real brainchild and he's been making some really killer stuff here in California. Now, the story about this is, is though, is that since last year, he's been supposed to be making 5,000 cars per week. And he was supposed to actually hit this goal sometime, you know, at the end of 2017. Well, still, we're in the middle of 2018 and he still hasn't met that goal. So his investors are like, hey, Elon, we love you, but where's our damn money, son? Because obviously that goal is not being met. Now they're making money, but they're not making as much money as they should. So whenever things get in a pinch, Elon always comes up with some kind of crazy solution to fix things and keep the ball rolling. And this time, once again, he's pulled a rabbit out of his hat. That's right. So what he did is instead of building a giant building and brand new facility to make another line, he did something very, very creative. He hired a company that he's worked with before and they built him this giant tent in the parking lot of the company. Yeah. So... I guess parking spaces are probably a little limited now over at the company, but they've built this giant tent. Now check this thing out. It's like as big as two and a half football fields. That's right. So you could put two football games going on at the same time in there. That'd be kind of an interesting thing to do. Two football games going on at the same time and then a half a game. Oh, we'll call that soccer. Oh, just kidding, my English mates. But so this guy's really inventive and this line is something very interesting. Now, how many more cars it's actually going to be producing, we're not gonna know quite yet, but things that we do know is that this line is meant for doing a lot of different custom stuff. So inside the factory, you know, it's a pre-built building, everything's gotta be where it's at, the robots and everything that are in there working have to stay where they're at, but with this line, they can do something much more creative. They can do custom work that they can't do inside of there. So not only can they get the cars out from the paint shop, bring them on in there and finish them up and get them ready to sell, they can also do custom work. And another thing, they have a new twin engine car coming up. Yeah, with two engines in it. So one engine will be your standard, the other engine will be four wheel drive, and this will actually be being finished inside of this particular building along with a lot of different custom stuff that he's doing there. So once again, this guy has pulled a rabbit from his hat, thought out of the box, and did something that really most people probably wouldn't think of. And the thing is, as he says, it's a lot more flexible and stuff than the ones that are actually inside the building. So if this works out, it'll be crazy because he applied for all the rights to do all this stuff like back in June and we're barely, you know, in July and he's already got this up and going. And the company that he's worked with, this is I believe like the third different project they've done with him. And this thing is just incredible. Talk about thinking outside of the box. Elon Musk got it, man, love him, hate him. The guy definitely is a thinker who likes to get stuff done. And come on, who wouldn't like to build cars in their parking lot? Now, next up is something kind of crazy as well. Now, there's a company called Polaris, and they make all kinds of off-road vehicles, including this series called the Slingshot. Now, the Slingshot is really crazy because it's kind of a modified motorcycle that has three wheels. You have two wheels actually in the front and a single wheel in the back. Now, this is not for driving around town, just cruising around. This is for really sport enthusiasts because Inside, it's rumored not to be really too comfortable. Now, some of these are street legal, but honestly, they're not made for the street. There's some crazy things about this vehicle now. For one thing, instead of being like your normal built car that's built for comfort and built for all these other things, you know, that are like radios and all this other stuff you do in your car to be chill in your car, this is completely stripped down, not like that whatsoever. There's a roll cage inside. Inside is like kind of kind of cramped and not really super comfortable. But then again, this is meant for sports stuff. Like this is for the person who wants to just have the most bitchiness, cool thing around. Now, the only problem with these things is they are pretty pricey as well. But to me, they also sound a little bit kind of dangerous because you're five inches 
from the ground when you're riding in a slingshot. No joke. Five inches from the ground. Now, to me, five inches from the ground means that if there's anything sticking up from the ground whatsoever, well, it's going to stick into that car at five inches. Now, although this may sound really cool, you know, in theory, driving down the road you know, at, at five inches from the ground, which is probably as low as you're ever going to get, that alone to me sounds a little bit iffy and probably why they're not really geared to be used, you know, as, as a normal street vehicle. However, if you're looking for something that's totally crazy and just want to check out some of these models just for the eye candy, you've got to check out their website and check out these different models of these things because just visually alone, checking them out, they look like something from from the future. Honestly, when you see them up close, I saw one the other day just driving down my street and I was blown. I was like, whoa, holy crap, that thing's incredible looking. And they really are really incredible looking. I wish I could actually have a chance to go and sit in one and check one out. I don't know if I really want to go driving around in one on the streets, but that may be interesting. But honestly, if you want to just see something that is definitely like pushing towards tech of tomorrow and just looks really cool, we'll have a link to a story below and a link to their website where you guys can check out more information about this and see if that's something you'd be into. Honestly, if I had the cash, I'd have one. Now, this next story is about a dude named Sangulani who also definitely thinks outside of the box. This is definitely tech of tomorrow, so check it out. This guy may even have technology that totally surpasses Tesla. Yeah, I said... Don't throw anything at me, but yeah, this is very possible. Now, this guy is claiming that he now can make a car that never needs to charge ever. That once it gets up and going, that's it. You're good to go. End of the line. Now, something totally different. Now, a lot of information about this is being withheld, and I can see why because this is like this is something that sounds so incredible that it's either like completely going to revolutionize things or turn to be a story where everybody's like, all right, this guy was completely BSing us all along the way. Ugh, stupid me for believing it. But here's what it is. So check it out. He's saying that he's taking radio waves, applying them to a chemical and making that an energy source. That's right. Now, how exactly it's done, all that other stuff, that's kind of trippy. So I wonder if like if he puts on heavy metal, since it's rock and music, if it produces more waves and therefore more energy. Therefore, heavy, 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 heavy metal music will revolutionize the world. Rock on, my brothers of rock. I'm just kidding. But this is a really crazy story. Now, this guy's from Zimbabwe, and uh, they obviously don't have a whole lot of uh, different things going on over there. So if this guy could get this out and do it, it would be very, very, really cool. But... They also have some laws in America, yes, in America, that claim that the government under certain circumstances can shut somebody's patent down when you apply for a patent and say it's unhealthy for society. Now, how many times has this probably happened in the past? God only knows. But if they determine that somehow or another, you know, what he's doing is detrimental to the public, They'll try to shut him down so his product never sees the light of day. And what I think is really interesting is that he talks about gel packs. Now, if you guys have ever watched Star Trek The Next Generation, almost all of their energy in their ship came from these gel packs. So I wonder, you know, if Homeboy's a Star Trek fanatic and saw this and was like, whoa, I can do that. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But if he can really come up with something that's like that, it will really piss off the gas companies. You know they will be pissed. They will be coming with armies, lawyers. Well, I guess their freaking army is their lawyers these days. So they'll be coming with their lawyers, you know, who are basically the, their barbarians of, of the future to try to sue this guy and take lawsuits against him because something like that could really shift the balance of power. Now, if this could be made cheaply, think about that. Pretty much everybody in the world at that point would never have to use fossil fuels ever again. That means no more digging in the ground, no more fracking, all kinds of things that would be great to humans, right? To humans. So isn't it, wouldn't it be really honestly ironic, really ironic, if they said that, oh yeah, this guy is going to do something to, to harm humanity, <laughs> right? Because what he could do could really change humanity. We wouldn't have to rely on fossil fuels whatsoever. But the whole thing is the power shift from the oil companies who rule and have all this money to do whatever they want 
would be done with. And one thing I like about this idea, and I'm I'm rooting for you, homie. Honestly, if you ever get a chance to see our channel, know that we are rooting for you because just because of the Valdez and all these oil spills where they kill all these animals and pollute our nature, pollute our ocean, making it so that we can't even really swim in it or fish in it anymore, like they're destroying the sea. And I don't like that whatsoever. I'm totally into planet conservation. So I say, yes, give us renewable energy. Then when you buy a car, you never have to worry about ever buying gas ever again. It just runs. It's a great, smart idea. I really hope it happens. Now, we'll have links to all the different articles and information about all this stuff below. So if you want to check out Tesla's tent in the parking lot, you can do that. If you want to check out all the stuff on the other site that we talked about, those killer little cars, we'll check that out. And if you want to check out this guy and check out what he has to say, we'll have a link to that as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys back here on the channel.